Hello and welcome to Farming Simulator 22. It is launch day. Game is all downloaded and ready to go. Set all my graphics up, set all my controllers up. I've had a quick look around it, but I wanted to ultimately just test it and get a really fresh opinion of the game. I haven't watched too many reviews or let's plays or first looks just purely because I wanted to make my own decision so we're at the main menu now and first opinions are it showing the seasons which is pretty decent but it does it looks cartoony that's the first thing I thought it looks cartoony so we'll just have a quick look through the options what we got now so uh, main settings just the usual we've got head tracking force feedback on steering wheel I don't really like that because I like throwing my steering wheel around just easier for reversing all your usual volumes uh, display settings so your graphics I've just had to do a little bit of a balancing act to um, balance performance recording and playing because I haven't got the best PC but it's enough it's enough for me key bindings so I've got my joystick and my steering wheel all set up I won't bore you too much um, obviously there's not much in the form of DLCs or mods or anything yet it's fresh out of the box but stuff will come I can guarantee that I have heard there are some mod mods already being built and transferred over but we do have the government subsidy straight in there loading times definitely quicker game optimization is definitely better I did have trouble with FS19 because I had it on Epic Games and it was just absolutely pants. So I couldn't, I couldn't wait for it to get it on Steam. I, I, I could have got it on Steam on uh, 19 on Steam, but it is what it is. I've got it on Steam now. I could have got it through Giants, but again, personal preference. Get it through Giants. Get it through Steam. Get it wherever you want. So definitely looks different. I have like this blur in the distance. Like, it's it's quite jarring. The graphics are good. Everything's on sort of high-ish, so I can record and play at the same time. Because it is a slightly more demanding game than 19. But that's jarring me straight away, the, the blur. So we're on the base game map, Erlengrad, wherever you say it. Not going to spend too much time. It is a base game map. Can't wait for different maps and mods to come out so we've just got to play with what we got for the minute I'm, I'm quite looking forward to this I have set up a John Deere X9 combine but it's it's just like the graphics are better but it's that hazy blur which is really jarring like it takes a while to focus I don't know if I need to fiddle with more settings I've put majority of stuff on high it just seems a bit cartoon cartoon is the best way to describe it so far I wonder if any shaders and stuff can change that later on but so this is the John Deere X9 new combine to the game new newest combine by John Deere I literally want to try and jump in everything have a go at everything and see how it compares to 19 really so let's do some combining start her up Sounds good. Infinitum Drive. So, I really like the sounds at the minute. If we got, yep, header controls. Let's see what it sounds like when it's loaded up. Dropping straw. Still really difficult to drive combines inside. But there's some really decent sounds from the header do you know what it reminds me of flipping borderlands you know that cartoony shell shaded feel that's what I'm getting right now I might have to play with graphic settings a bit more oh, what's left so that, does that turn that off I need to play with some more buttons later on Big lab straw. We'll, we'll worry about that. Um, so my drawing distances and rendering. I've just 
put everything middle ground really just to see how my PC would handle it. But ultimately, I like, I really like the engine notes. I really like the sound so far. It is pretty decent. It's just bugging me, this, the shell shaded graphics aspect of it, but I'm mildly impressed so far. I'm going to finish this run and we'll get corn cart out and see how trailers and tractors and that go. Alright, what's pipe out then? Oh. New tractor to the game, McCormick X7. It's really difficult. It, yeah, these graphics, I need to ever play these graphics. Really difficult to read. The best way I can describe driving this tractor, it just feels crisp. I can hear cleat noise as well. Brakes are good. Right hand side, not in the UK. It does feel nice to drive. Let's have a look at this animation then. Now that's a good. Um, that's a good fix. So, engine's not on. It won't empty. So that's quite realistic. As soon as the engine's on, we can empty. No, I like that. That's good. That's combining done. Ticked off the list. It's just that haziness. It's just like I said. It's just jarring. Right, let's get this out of the way. I do like this tractor. It's not bad. So next thing I want to check. Let's get a baler. What should we... Well, what balers are there first, actually? So, good time to show you how the shop works. All your symbols, tractors, so your driven vehicles, driven implements. And then here's your implements. Everything. All, anything that can go on the back or needs a tractor to run. or Headers. All that stuff. I'm quite excited for grapes. Not gonna lie. There's a lot of fruit where I'm from, and it's quite nice to see a bit more focus on the smaller stuff. I'd like to see some proper apple orchards and top fruit, soft fruit pears, but we'll see. Some mods might come along. Uh, big bags, pallets, the usual, but we have these now, which is pretty cool. And if you're new to farming and don't really know what you need to do what they have it in packs so this is how you combine you need all this forage you need all this self-explanatory another decent addition to the game which was kind of a mod is a used vehicle so you get discount on used vehicles that's pretty cool to see there's what i own at least goes in here uh, mods and DLCs one and then we go to animal dealer you can customize your character we case speed uh, construction a really good new build feature but I won't be going into this side of things too much today I just want to first impressions of the game and then obviously buying farmland and what we own and where it is so back to what we was doing we need a baler i'm gonna have to get the new holland high density out i think nice baler so the us do like some wafty colors look at that so go that leave the trellies on we'll leave that as it is so much it is weight speed of work all pretty self-explanatory things if you've come from 1917. So we'll buy that one. And we'll probably match that with a um, big blue tractor. Hmm. Should we go for a T7? Or should we go for a... Let's go for a T8. The Genesis. They're horrible and I like them at the same time. 
but we'll go blue on blue. So uh, we'll put some decent wheels, wheel weights, tyres, full horsepower. Come to a front linkage anyway. Sounds alright. I'm looking forward to some really noisy, ropey old proper engine tones from the new modders, so. Looks T8 to me in here. Alright. To the field! Be good. I wonder if bail physics are any better. Fingers crossed. What do we reckon, guys? Is this going to end in tears, or are these barrels going to be pretty good? Right, turn on. Unfold first. Unfold. So. Very nice. Chambers open. Will it start up now? Lower the old pickup. Let's see what happens with bales now. Probably haven't got enough on the floor, but as long as I can get two, two or three bales out of it. It's coming. Some really cool engine tones. I've written here, I really like the way engines have changed. Bales look different. Definitely look different. I wish it would have a bit of a surge though, like a baler surge, like warm, warm. That'd be pretty good. Just notice that, which is pretty cool, you can change the bale size. That's pretty decent. So, we did get three bales. Let's do the ultimate test. Nice to see a JCB load all base game. Look at that. Very nice. Get one of them. And a bale spike. So we've only got that. So in telehandlers we have a very minimal selection which is a bit annoying. But like in tractor loaders we have lots of things. Look at all this. Why didn't telehandlers have any of this? Drop a bale grab. That's a bit annoying. So telehandlers are handicapped at the minute. Let's have a look inside. So it's the old style cab on this. It's an old JCB. Maybe there's some JCB stuff coming in the future. Moment of truth. Line up to this one. And then we're to go straight back out. Oh, I feel... They feel a bit sticky still. I feel like bale physics hasn't changed. I don't know, they feel... Right, so... In my head... That should just reverse out nicely then. It's just catching a little bit. I don't know, I think they might have changed something here, you know. Let's plop that on there. And hopefully, that's enough tension down to just pull straight out. I think they're better, you know. No, they do seem different. They do seem like something's changed. Like, that wasn't too hard to stack them. I mean, it's not neat, and I used a mouse. I need to set my joystick and have another go. I think we shall end this episode here. So we've tested Combine. Pretty decent. Some decent newish tractors, like the McCormick. Graphics. I need to tweak them somehow. Bales definitely have improved 100%. 
and we'll um, leave that at part one. Part two then, keep your eyes out, we'll uh, go further into testing vehicles, we'll check out the ground textures and a bit of ploughing, maybe drilling, or the next stage in the harvest process really. So, I hope this episode eases your uh, decision on um, if you want 22 or not. I mean, I'm, I'm impressed so far, definitely. I mean, it's not the same without the mods that we've built up over the years on 19, but I just need to tweak the graphics, set my controllers up a bit more, and get a daddy server up and running. So, until next time, guys, bye for now.